Hi, this is Becky Leonard with South Coast Midwifery. I'm a certified doula and a lactation counselor. And this is part two of our two-part breastfeeding series. So if you missed the first one, go and find it on YouTube or on our website so you can check it out. So here we go. So a question I get all the time from my mamas when they're breastfeeding and they're starting to pump is that if I pump in between those nursing sessions of the baby, it will be so wonderful because all of a sudden I'll have all this milk. Well, that's true in theory in the sense that when we put demand on our bodies and the more demand that is created, the more milk we do make. So the more the baby sucks, the more you pump, yes, the more milk you make. The problem is, is that that puts so much pressure on your body to make that milk. And it also creates this other big problem, which is our bodies, especially if you have one baby at a time, are meant to just feed one baby at a time. And they're meant to only have supply for one baby at a time. So if you're pumping after each nursing session, you're actually tricking your body into thinking you're feeding two babies which sounds like, wow, wouldn't that be great? More is better. Not so much, because what happens is it causes an overdrive in our breasts and it you puts you in a huge area of potentially getting breast infections, which are called mastitis, or they lead to really bad ones, which is abscesses in the breast, and that can create a whole host of issues. So if you need to increase or up your supply, and you're thinking the best way to do that is to pump after every session, please, please, please do yourself a favor and hire a lactation counselor, a lactation consultant, a lactation professional to come and support you on what plan would actually be best for you and your baby. Because just adding in all that pumping is gonna exhaust you, it's gonna exhaust your breasts, and it could potentially have you have some pretty yucky um, things happening after that. And we don't want you to get sick when you're trying to just do something great and feed your baby extra beautiful milk. So thank you so much for tuning in to part two of our breastfeeding journey. And don't forget to tune in next time where we go over more questions on how to support your pregnancy, labor, birth, and postpartum.